Hi, this is uh, Dr. Frederick. I want to review with you how we're going to rank numbers uh, for the Wilcoxon procedure. Now, here's the uh, first uh, handout that I gave to you, and here are the numbers that we want to rank. Now, I copied those numbers and I put them uh, in an Excel file so I could type easily. And to rank them, we're going to say, okay, what's the what's the lowest number? The the lowest number is the one. What's the next lowest number? It's the 2. We give it a rank of 2. Uh, what's the third lowest number? The third lowest number is a 3. We give that. And then we have the next lowest number is a 4. We'll give that a 4. Here's another 4. We'll give that a 5. Uh, now we can't really do this, but I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just finish the rankings. Uh, the next number is 5. There's just one 5. We'll give that a rank of 6. The next rank, or the next numbers to rank are sixes. I see two of them there. We'll give this one a rank of seven. And we'll give this one a rank of eight. What's the next number? Seven. There's two sevens. I'll give this one a rank of nine. This one a rank of ten. The next number is eight. That'll have a rank of eleven. Uh, here's another eight. We'll give that a rank of twelve. And then here's a thirteen. And then the, the highest number gets the highest rank of 14. Now, we, we cannot give different rankings to the same numbers. So here's a 4. Here's a 4. Uh, all we're going to do to rank them, we're going to add these two numbers together. 4 plus 5 to get 9. Divide by 2. 4.5 here. 4.5 here. Numbers of the same magnitude have the same ranking. Uh, so then we had the 6. So it goes like this. It goes 1, 2, 3, and then 4.5, 4.5. The next ranking is 6. So you see we don't have rankings of 4 or 5, and that's because we had two numbers with the same values. They have to have the same ranking, and we just, we just split the difference. Okay, so let's go up to our 6s. We have two 6s. They have to have the same ranking. One is rank 7, one is rank 8. They have to have the same ranking. So 7 plus 8 is 15 divided by 2. is 7.5 here. 7.5 here. And uh, so then let's go to our 7s, 9 and 10. Have to have the same rankings. 9 plus 10 is 19. Divided by 2 is 9.5. 9.5. Then we have two eights, 11 plus 12 is 23, divided by 2 is 11.5. And let me fix that so it looks correct. Okay, 11.5 there, 11.5 here. Same problem, let me fix that real quick. Okay, so let's see, we had 8s. How many 9s do we have? Just one, 13, and then our last ranking of 14. So now these aren't in exactly the same uh, format that we had our others in. So let me just change them real quickly. And we're just going to put them back in the... Uh, order that you saw them in. Okay, let's go back here. We want to go down here and see what, what it says here. Okay, so we'll put that there, put that there, and so we have this one here first. Well, all right, won't do it for me. It should be able to. Oh, I know how to do it. Hold on a second. Cut and then paste. Special. Nope, I was wrong. It should be able to do a paste transpose, and I don't know why it's not doing it. Let me just try one more thing. Okay, doesn't do it. Alright, 
let's just look. Here's our three, our six, our five, our eight, our nine, our eight, and the four. And our rankings are three, seven point five, six, eleven point five, thirteen, eleven point five, four point five. And then here's our second grouping, seven, two, four, ten, seven, six, one. And our rankings are nine point five, two, four point five, fourteen. 9.5, 7.5, and 1. And then we can just ask Excel to sum those up for us. 57 there, which is what I had. And 48. So that works out fine. Um, hopefully you can follow that. If you don't, try it again. Let me know. And let's see how doing videos works better than audio files. Okay? Thanks.